She's a big name in fashion, marketing and branding. She's a judge on America's Next Top Model and she's one of Dr. Phil's advisors. Let me introduce you, Kelly Catrone. Good morning, Kelly. <laughs> so you've had quite a bit of hustle and bustle already today. Busy days, busy days. It's like a full-time sport being a speaker. You're almost going to give your talk. What will it be about? I am speaking today about women of the world. It's called WOW. My talk is called WOW. I'm, I don't know. Um, I'm thinking about what it's going to be about right now. No, I'm really joking. I don't really prepare a speech. I'm for sure going to speak about um, Eleanor Roosevelt a little bit because this is really about change and women and um, the future and reshaping the future this talk is about. So um, in order to do that, I think it's good to look at the past and the present um, because a lot of times the past and the present happen to contribute to the future. So I'm going to talk about women like Eleanor Roosevelt who I'm madly in love with, who was the co-author of the Declaration of Human Rights, which is my big message right now because I don't want to talk about world religion and what people think about any of that if we can't agree on human rights. It seems like people have been trying to destroy themselves over two things, money and God. So I'm trying to, um, you know, get people who are really good to make a lot of money so they can reclaim it and use it for good things. And um, yeah, I'm all for it. I had a guru once who said, money is ruled by the darkness, it's your job to get it back and claim it in the name of the divine. And she became my guru because she was the only one that ever talked about money as it being a force and a good thing. So I'm trying to get these things changed. So human rights and making a lot of money so we can put it to good use instead of spending $52 billion on Cyber Monday. How insane is that? Can you imagine spending fucking $52 billion on Cyber Monday? Monday. In the United States, we have something called Black Friday, which is the day after Thanksgiving. They added Cyber Monday to be the website component of Black Friday. Is this something you will speak about in your talk? I don't know. I wasn't planning on it, but now that I have a bug up, you know, it's really upsetting if you think about it. You know, imagine what we could do with $52 billion. It would be amazing. Yeah. One last question. Okay. Why is an important lady like you coming all the way over to Amsterdam for TEDx Women here? Was, first of all, I was invited to come, and it was an honor to be invited to come to TEDx Women. And secondly, I love women, and you know, I'm really a big part of my life right now is really talking to a lot of young women and really encouraging them to get into a place of using their intuition and their intelligence to act and express themselves and to be completely feminine, which also means to be compassionate and ruthless and fierce and on the move so they can understand what it means to be feminine because many of them think it ha is about being sexy and cute and compliant and you know mother earth is out of whack and so I believe if we can get the feminine in all its aspects back into its true power then we can have balance. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>